kwamba kwa hivi sasa mkuu wa mawaziri Musali ya Mudavadi anazindua warsha inayolenga uzalishaji wa chakula cha kutosha kati ya serikali na shirika la umoja wa mataifa mjini Mombasa hebu tusikilize yanayojiri in disaster prevention but also in unlocking developmental potential and realizing socioeconomic core benefits people must have a future where they not only survive but thrive in the face of adversity meanwhile i believe wfp's supply chain capacities is one of the strengths that we need to leverage we must we, we as we support each other to build local supply chains and infrastructure you have the commitment of the government to continue maintaining kenya as a supply chain hub through which you can effectively support the region incidentally the excellent working relationship between wfp the kenya ports authority and the Kenya Revenue Authority enabled last year's transiting of about 250,000 metric tons of cargo through the Mombasa port supporting Kenya, Uganda, South Sudan, Rwanda, Burundi, Eastern DRC, Somalia and occasionally Tanzania. World Food Program bought about 37,800 metric tons of food in Kenya worth 69 million US dollars. I also understand that in 2022 alone, over 35 million dollars were paid to local transporters and logistics service providers. Each year, there's an increase in the amount of food purchased and logistics contracted. This means that the impact of the work of the WFP in Kenya is tremendously supportive to our economy in creating a force multiplier effect for transformative change. Before I conclude, I just want to draw the media because we'll share this speech. Please look at the statistics. go through those numbers very carefully and look at the statistics because this is something we always miss to tell Kenyans. Na ni mkuu wa 